Hi, I'm Will Dalton and this is GW News. It's been a record-breaking first round at the Evian Championship as 19-year-old Kyung Jo Kim made history by shooting a 61 10 under par. Kim's round eclipsed the 62s recorded by Finland's Manea Blunkfist at the 2004 Women's British Open and Arena Okacha at the 2006 Kraft Nabisco Championship. She was able to card 10 birdies, ending four shots ahead of Australia's Kari Webb, with Kim's compatriot Hermie Jung a shot further back. To the PGA Tour now and Rory McIlroy remained in contention for the FedEx Cup title after finishing three shots adrift after the first round at the Tour Championship. Billy Horschel and Chris Kirk shared the lead on four under par. Meanwhile, Bubba Watson was on three under alongside Patrick Reed, Jim Furyk and Jason Day. A win for either McIlroy, Horschel, Kirk Watson or Hunter Mayen would result in the season-long title and bonus. I mean, it, we both just had a solid day. You know, uh, Billy's obviously been playing some pretty incredible golf with winning last week and finished second the week before, and, and uh, I've been doing all right myself. So um, it was a comfortable pairing for both of us, I think, and, and uh, the golf course played really, really well. It was, it was tough but very fair, and, and uh, we both had it going pretty nice. Finally, to the KLM Open now, where play was suspended after Fabrizio Zanotti was hit on the head by a ball. Zanotti, who won the BMW International Open earlier this season, was on the 16th fairway when he was injured by a ball struck from the 14th tee. Players were quick to wish him a speedy recovery, including defending champion Juice Luton. Yeah, I mean, we didn't know what was going on, and then you come in, you got called off, and you hear the story, and uh, you know, well, hopefully he's all right, and uh, hopefully he recovers uh, quickly, and uh, we'll see him back on tour soon. And I think it was the right call to get us off the course and, and wait for, uh, for what happened with him. And all of us at Golfing World wish Fabrizio a quick recovery. Well, that's all for today, but join us on Monday when we'll be rounding up all of the weekend's results. In the meantime, keep up to date on Twitter at Golfing World TV, and we're on Facebook and Instagram too. Bye for now.